Hello. Welcome to another episode of the Mill Stuff channel. Today we were going to talk about the increase of torpedo-sized weapons for American submarines to get 76% more firepower. The Virginia-class submarine is already heavily armed. Each boat can carry up to 37 torpedo-sized weapons, such as Tomahawk cruise missiles. 12 of these slots are in two vertical launch systems, or VLS, known as the Virginia payload tubes. The new Block V batch of submarines will add 28 more slots in its VLS. This is an increase of 76% of torpedo-sized weapons. The U.S. Navy is planning to build between 72 to 78 new attack submarines. 10 of these will be the Virginia Block V boats, 8 of which will be up-armed as described here. Based on a recent briefing document from the Congressional Research Service, reported in U.S. Naval Institute News, a total of 31 Virginia-class submarines will ultimately have this fit. When it was originally conceived the Virginia class was seen as a cheaper alternative to the larger Seawolf class. The Seawolf had been designed during the Cold War to counter the latest Russian submarines. But the Russian types were mostly cancelled, or massively delayed, in the post-Cold War period. Therefore only three of the expensive Seawolves were eventually built. Yet while the Virginia class was smaller than the Seawolf, it took advantage of new technologies and itself became a world-leading nuclear-powered attack submarine. The Block II Virginias continued to focus largely on production efficiency. The Block III's took this further with enhanced construction techniques. At the same time, they received a new conformal main sonar array in place of the traditional spherical array found on earlier U.S. Navy submarines. Their vertical launch system was changed from 12 single tubes to two multiple all-up round containers. These are the Virginia payload tubes. Block 4, which is mostly still under construction, again focused on reducing cost. They also improved availability. But the improvements were iterative and mostly hard to see. Outwardly Block 5 will be more visibly different, with a new weapons module and additional sensors. They will be extended with the addition of 25 meters section to accommodate the four new vertical launch tubes. Each of these will be capable of carrying seven tomahawks. The new VLS is termed the Virginia Payload Module and will also be suitable for future weapons and alternative payloads. The latest Tomahawk missiles, coincidentally also known as the Block 5, will add an anti-ship capability to the existing land attack mode. They are expected to be operational before the first Virginia Block 5 joins the submarine force. More potent still although unconfirmed, are likely to be new hypersonic boost glide vehicles. It is unclear how many will be carried in each VLS but a reasonable guess is three rounds. Because the Block 5s have more VLS slots it seems natural that they will be among the first submarines to carry the hypersonic missiles. With a total of six VLS tubes, they could carry a mixed load of, maybe 12 hypersonic missiles, three in each of the aft four tubes, and 12 tomahawks in the forward tubes. The submarines will still have the regular torpedo room, or weapon storage compartment. This can carry the latest versions of the advanced capability family of heavyweight torpedoes. They are also likely to carry the new Hammerhead mine which will replace the legacy MK-47 submarine launched mobile mine, or SLMM. Hammerhead will allow covert deployment of bottom mines. Although less glamorous than missiles this is a particularly powerful capability. The US Navy is also developing a new clandestine delivered mine which will blend technologies from underwater drones with regular bottom mines. This will allow much greater standoff ranges when sowing minefields, thus improving both survivability and operational flexibility. On the sonar front of the Block 5s are expected to receive the Large Vertical Array, or LVA flank sonars. These are in addition to the six ultramodern lightweight wide aperture arrays which are placed along the submarine side. There are indications that an LVA has recently been fitted to an Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, the USS Tennessee, SSBN 734. Taken together the improvements will make Block 5 the most heavily armed attack submarine in US Navy history. Whether they will in the future receive the classic SSGN designation, like the four converted Ohio-class cruise missile submarines currently in service, remains to be seen. Even if not their impressive cruise missile load will differentiate them from other attack submarines. Even their big brother the larger Seawolf class. Quantity has a quality all of its own. And when the quality relates to U.S. Navy missiles, having more of them is inevitably a massive increase in capabilities. The latest Block 5 Virginia-class submarine will greatly increase the number of missiles which can be carried. In effect, this will make it a cruise missile submarine. Yet it will not take away from this otherwise flexible anti-ship, anti-submarine, intelligence, and special forces platform. 
The US Navy is equipping its nuclear attack submarines with improved navigation and detection technology as well as new sonar, automation, and artificial intelligence technologies. This will enable quieter, faster movements in littoral waters where enemy mines, small boats, and other threats often operate. The US Navy has arguably reached a critical juncture with its submarines. Some military analysts have suggested the gradual retirement of the country's aging fleet will lead to a lack of vessels, and more importantly firepower, through the next decade. With around 71 submarines in active service, the US Navy has the biggest fleet in the world. Next-generation submarines are gradually being rolled out to replace the aging Los Angeles-class fleet and their mission has been extended in response to new undersea challenges. Stealth capability is one of the crucial advantages of submarines, the Virginia class brings capability and capacity that is so crucial as we head into potential peer conflict down the road. The new mission of the Virginia class submarine isn't a step back from the attack sub, rather, it's a step into a new future. They are making use of the latest technology, ensuring the attack is more precise, executed more effectively, and done so while keeping assets as secure as possible. Russia and China are both believed to be taking significant steps towards the next generation of attack submarines, the US is mindful of that as this strategy suggests.